Is it possible to get a copy of the minutes emailed to me? I sent them out. No, I didn't see them. I sent them out. I read them. I can try and. Uh, is there an agenda somewhere? here somewhere? I think yeah. this is right there. Yeah, these this whole I, pile oh, here. Okay. They're double. We can pass, I guess. I don't know. Good. Maybe I'll just leave. I don't oh, mean I to be obnoxious. I just thought, you know, well, I'm not going to let it go. You know, I'm keep after it. And we it. know that nobody knows better than Patty about oh, invasives. <laughs> you mean and about poison, poison ivy? ivy. <laughs> well, I mean, she was in the hospital too. for two days. Okay, where are you, Patty? I was. I was on steroids for two weeks. So was she, ivy. and that's yeah. why she wound up in the hospital. Yeah, that's, that's so it. it's not. So, I'm glad this signed, but I want to know. Well, this is just a tell well, about. At the last is, meeting, yeah. did. Ed did say it was something the town had to address. Yeah, he'll, I, is that, he going to be here? Yeah. I See? think I think yeah. he'll have some information. Right. That's for all. Us, so. So I don't think honest. it's totally the responsibility of that? the. This is a town park Anyone? after all, and at some point, Doug. the town has to take some responsibility. <laughs> well, I did send them out, Kate, uh, Terry, send them because. Um, uh, since yesterday. Since yesterday. You know, like it, it, like today. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, no, yesterday. After yesterday. the minutes. After the minutes. Last. I mean, uh, after the agenda. Let's see. Shut up, Kate. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> today is Tuesday. I sent them last evening, probably around 5:30. Or no, try this morning at 8:30 before I went to Ava. Just resent them to her. And Elisa just resent. All I have is agenda. <laughs> well, Elisa uh, sent it to you about. Elisa just sent it. I just don't have it. Okay. Copies coming. Thank Elisa. You. Thank you. And minutes. Got him. <laughs> Yay! These are the drafts. Oh, oh I have an okay. extra. Copy. I'm going to the minutes of the <laughs> open the meeting uh, of the June 6, 2023, Mescola Lakeside Park Committee. Uh, the first item on the agenda is the approval of the May 2nd minutes. Okay. I would have thought I was present last night. Okay, so we. I thought you were present last You were night. there, yeah. You were. I don't see my name. Okay, well, these things happen. Okay. That's for no big deal. No big deal. And see. We are in the queue. <laughs> Is it L E N or L O? Mm -hmm. U. M U L L A N. A N. Copy it. See? There was an of somewhere that I needed to fix. Okay. I already changed it on the original. Mm. Okay. As soon as uh, someone's ready, yeah, I. We'll accept a motion to approve the minutes with the addition of Kate McMullen's name to the minutes in attendance of the May 2nd meeting. Yeah, I would just um, make a change to correct the spelling of Paul's name under donor letter, the last name, Mirsky with an I. Oh, yes, it's M R I S K I. Good one, Pat Penny. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was. Spelling of Q in the power pole rem uh, removal at the manners. Yeah. Can you help me find where, where you are? Right there. There. Two bottom. Q. Q. Yeah, Q is Q U, U E. Right. Thank you. And yeah. the N and E. Q U Oh, you got the E. Yeah. But is this a six spell it again? I think, I, I You're think right. it's four, Q, four or five it's, letters. Q U right. E. U again. U. Yeah. E. E. Okay. Yeah. I think, right? Okay, yeah. I'll look up the spelling. Okay. That's it. 
Okay, here it is. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that yeah, that's in there. I I can um make a motion to accept the minutes with the changes. Oh, this is news to me. I didn't hear that at the last meeting. Oh, Second. Can you feel Oh, yeah. Right. Can run the pull up pavilion. Yes, that's a new policy. Okay. Currently, that was decided by the uh, by the uh, whatever the recreation, recreation department and... that's in. To, in control of the rentals. That is to make the back there burden a little less. So we have a motion to accept the minutes with the uh, uh, amendments or changes. I'm sorry, and we have a second. What the amendments? Uh, just changes in uh, adding Kate's name to the. Um, the, they weren't amendments. They were they were corrections. corrections. Kate's, Kate's name to the uh, yes. attendees. Mursky's the spelling of Mursky's name, and the spelling of Q is Q U E Q U E. <coughs> oh, fine, thank you. <coughs> and Doug is second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, moving on. Um, Doug, fi financial update. Okay, well, last month I reported that the figure shown on our. Uh, oh, tell them, please. <laughs> uh, the figure uh, shown in our records as donated from Enfield Village Association mm -hmm. is actually a net figure uh, after some expenses. Mm -hmm. And that Eva had acted as, age, had acted as agent. To, to accept the donations. To accept donations. And I reported that those donations amounted to 99.7057 as reported. But they the didn't actually come out of Eva's treasury. No, they, no, they, they acted as agents yeah. to collect the donations. Well, I continued to do some more digging over the past, since the last meeting, and I found two more, uh, <coughs> at least two more. So the total now that actually went through Eva was $13,055.57. So the committee was pretty active raising money prior to. There was no official committee uh, at that point. Actually. Well, whoever it was yeah. raised $13,055.57. I'll give you a copy of this. Okay. And um, so that was interesting. Um, <clears throat> There, there have been uh, additional contributions received this month, or at least since the first of the year, uh, $2,000 from the sailing club toward maintenance, and $3,050 uh, for, for the uh, Mursky Memorial. Uh, is, is that what, what the select board uh, accepted last night? Uh, Probably like, yeah. $5,050, no, I think. No, $3,050. No, I think it may have been. Oh, plus the $2,000. Yeah, yeah. Right. okay. All okay. right, uh, uh, since uh, yesterday, we've received another $600. Yeah. The Mursky Memorial is the next item on the uh, so agenda, the, but you can cover the monetary part and then we'll discuss the rest of it. Okay, so um, the Mursky Fund is. Walking right along, mm -hmm. it's up to about three thousand eight hundred and some odd dollars right nice. now. Uh, there have been no cash outlays, but I added to the list of the list that we'd already made the boat ramp and the picnic tables and some signage. Uh, so our net financial position is $244,522.67. That's what we have available to spend. Not bad. <coughs> uh, Elisa had pointed out to me that there is no separate Mursky Memorial Fund, but these donations that have been sent in had a notation in the check that said for the Paul Mursky yeah. Memorial. Yeah. So it's still part of the Lakeside Park funds, but the funds are intended to be for the memorial dedicated to Paul. Yeah, and I take that to mean that I'm supposed to keep track of what's in 
What's in the Mosky fund? Yes. Because the town is not keeping track. Well, she sends them to me, and then I pass them on to you. Is the, is the Mursky uh, directed money included in the 244? It's included. Uh, yes, it is. Thank you. Yes, it is. So uh, we'll move on to the Mursky Memorial Grove. I believe at the last meeting, at some point, we discussed the best way to honor Paul and the work he did was through a, a small grove of trees with hopefully a bench. Um, and Patty and Mike met yesterday, and I, you were there too, David, weren't you? Oh, briefly, I wasn't there yeah. for the actual and, location. And I, I got there late. <clears throat> but Patty, do you want to uh, comment on that? Sure. Um, there's a little packet of photographs um, that everybody has just to show you a picture of the spots. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. So um, Mike um, recommended the spots. Yeah. Can I have one of those too? Thanks. Um, so the first picture kind of shows you two of the places that he thought would be good for the Mursky Grove would be this spot right here. So this area does um, tend to gather water after storms, um, but he thought that that would be one spot would be to consider it there because it would also help kind of keep people from walking on that corner. It also gives a really nice sight view from the other side of the pavilion, looking mm -hmm. through the pavilion, you'd see a tree. Um, and Mike thought that that might also help kind of anchor the pavilion a little. Um, that was one spot. And then the other spot that he recommended is right by the where the seating wall is, kind of here, along this edge in here, he thought would also be a nice spot. In that corner, but not to interfere with the tent flat right. area. So that was a good point, actually, that I think that um, one thing we might want to do is and maybe you've already done this, I don't know, but talk to the people who do tents to see uh, the amount of space they need for the ropes that come yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, so that would be something I think we should, before we make a commitment of putting anything there, we would just want to double check and make sure that right. there, there's enough space with the tent. So do you know I what the dimensions of that space are? Exactly, uh, no. Because we just set up one for on the Lebanon Green uh, a couple weeks ago. A tent? I told them to, to make it adequate for a 20 by 40. A 20 by 40? Okay. Right. So I that, guess... That should, I mean, because it's maybe another five feet out mm -hmm. uh, on okay. each side. All right. For the stakes. Patty, the stakes. was this a picture that... Uh, so that just shows you kind of looking through if you were to stand on the other side of the pavilion. It I'm just, not clear on which side is which. It's, so it's hard here's from the pictures. The, okay, here's the... You're walking up to the pavilion from the parking lot. Here, okay, right? park. so this is parking lot yeah. side. Yeah, you're walking through. So that way you'd look through and you'd see the trees either right over here or you'd see it kind of over here. Right, and then this is now you're on the other side of the pavilion. You're near the patent path, right? You're standing at the edge of the patent path mm -hmm. and you're looking right to that spot. So that's where that is. Um, so those and are so, the. So, you know, this one would solve a couple issues but may interfere with the tent. This yep. one a little less interference. Right. Um, it blocks the view to the water. Yeah, so here if you look though, there are some pretty big trees right in there already. Doesn't mean we won't that we won't remove them. Right. And so well I don't know that those would ever get removed. These okay. but the other thing too was that um Mike felt like it, it's also a good way to kind of show that, that dr there's a drop off there. Good okay, point. so he yeah. prefers that one. Well I think he Broken. actually prefers this this one. The middle one. Here. He likes this one here because he feels like this way people aren't going to be kind of cutting across. Mm -hmm. um, and, he, and also, if you stand on the other side of the pavilion from the parking lot, you really do. This, this picture doesn't show you exactly, but it, it is a nice sight line through. Mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. trees that he recommended mm -hmm. are here also. He recommended a crab apple. Um, this one, yeah, this is a prairie fire. It's a dwarf variety. Um, it, the biggest it would get would be about 20 feet high. Maybe the widest spread would be about 15 feet. 
This one is disease resistant. Some crab apples are prone to disease, but this mm -hmm. particular one, and actually interestingly enough, this year with all the um, problems that the trees had because of the weather, um, th this particular one seems like it did okay. Mm -hmm. So it might just be a little bit hardier. It's zone three. Um, so I think that that's good for the lake. Um, it's medium growth that would grow like about uh, maybe a foot to two feet a year. Um, and it, it's tolerant of uh, lots of different soil, including wet, but mm -hmm. also it could survive in dry. So that that's why that particular spot that tends to collect water, you know, yeah, that's get a wet. concern of mine though, Patty. If it's wet, who's going to go and sit on the bench with their feet sitting in a puddle? Well, that and and that area does in fact get get wet. Now maybe it means there might be some better drainage. Maybe we put in a little bit of a rain garden. I don't know, um, but Further in, I guess near mm -hmm. the seating wall, you wouldn't have that issue. Right, right. That's yeah. what yeah. I liked about yeah. that area. Yeah. I um, mm. the other tree that he recommended is on the back, and that's um, a service berry, um, mm -hmm. a beautiful, beautiful tree, um, flowering. It, the birds love it. It would have berries, a lot of fall color. Um, the only other thing too about the crab apples is. There can be a little bit of a mess with those. Mm -hmm. So I'm that's concerned something. about the spread. Too. Yeah, the, too the big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so those were those were Mike's suggestions. We've talked about heritage would we put birches. Both in or just one? Or we, would we, we do one or maybe a couple? We talked about three yesterday. Yeah, like a, an odd number. Yeah. Okay. Patty, um, is the crab apple American native? Or the bird, the service berry, definitely. Is. Yeah, the service berry is a native plant, and I don't know that this particular variety of crab apple is native or not. Um, and we can definitely check that. So I have to say we have, and I don't know what kind of crab apple it is. We have a crab apple that um, bears good fruit. The mess is not bad. At yeah, all. and um, and the the, the width. Compared to other trees, I don't know the term. Well, you're going to group big. three together, is okay. what I'm yeah. saying. Three, three would be different. Yeah. And the, the crab apple would need a little maintenance. Not a lot, not a lot, just a little bit of probably pruning. But that's something to think about too for the park mm -hmm. is that we don't want to add to, you know, things that are going to be high maintenance. But that would take a little bit of that's maintenance. That's true, he does prune. Yeah. Keep it, to keep it. Would a mix of two and one work? It might. It, I mean, it, it sort of gives some contrast. Yeah, it might. And, it what might, about I, I, a service berry and a and a birch? That we could we could look at that. The the, the concern with the birch was the um, all the traffic, all the walking. I guess maybe it had something to do with the roots. I'm not oh, exactly the sure. Soil. Something. Yeah, yeah. Mike had mentioned that because at first we thought about birch, and you know. Um, they're not as long lived. Yeah, I, yeah. That, I right? love the birch in the winter. Like they're beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. And, and you can also, see. They, they need to be, I mean, I've got a couple, one I planted maybe 10 feet from the house, and that's too close. They need a wide a spread. Space, yeah. 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 So, Doug? My humble opinion, neither side is large enough. Uh, the, the one toward the rail trail, it's fall site number one where it gets wet, mm -hmm. is a little triangle and one or two trees will soon outgrow it. Yeah. Uh, the other one is a rather a steep uh, slope and you're going to be coming up and then approaching on the, on, the, uh, on the tent area or going down a very steep Well, it's slope. actually a little triangle. An area if you if you're at the site yeah if yeah. you think of the tent area as a big rectangle I don't consider two one two or three trees to really a grove no I I, think I, it's, I would recommend going beyond the tent yeah where you have plenty of space for a decent sized uh, so installation maybe where you're going right. to split off the path well I think and actually yeah. if you look at the plan that Mike did, there is a nice spot right in that area here that you could do a more of a grove. Um, the timing, it would be mm -hmm. a, more of a timing thing to figure out because um, not no, I, I don't know. That's a, yeah. I, that's what I wondered though. I mean, I would say this would happen after the serious infrastructure work is done. Yeah. 
but with the heavy equipment yeah. coming okay. in. And I think that makes a lot of yeah. sense, actually. And if that is the case, then really we have a lot of space. I would we think can next consider. spring. Okay, that's fine. And that's we also might like be able to, as a committee, mm -hmm. all take a look at that space. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and that yeah. would uh, uh, allow us to. I mean, yeah, pictures, what, pictures are yeah, one thing, but to visualize yeah. it yeah. for three dimensional. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I would what I would hope that we would all do is, if that is the case, that we make sure we're working from this plan. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of spots in here that Mike put in trees, so we can we can use this kind of as the guide. Can you say um, on here where further in where you're talking? So now, like mark on it. Yeah, like in all this area. This oh. is that whole center okay. Okay. part of okay. where the nature trail would be. So, mm -hmm. and and I I think after we see what the survey is, of, we'll have a better idea too. Does the apples of the tree draw in gear and stuff like that, and then result in munching on the rest of the plants? So while in there? that's a good question. I don't know, Penny. Do you know if deer are attracted to crab apples? Some, some of them. deer are attracted to everything. <laughs> so they got past Doug's very elaborate deer fence over it, and are they've been oh, eating the okay. hydrangeas. Yeah, they eat uh, the fruit trees with great relish. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bill has wire. Well, one, one question I have. Are we, are we digging deep enough that we need to do archaeological? No, no. no. And and the archaeological dig was recommended or suggested. It wasn't a do it or die situation. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. So I would say if if this proposed site that we all agree on is within that archaeologically sensitive area, we just dig a hole and put the damn tree in. Yeah, they're going to be small. And I don't, actually, that's right. I don't right. think it's going to be near the archaeological yeah. okay. that's, sensitive I area. Just, yeah, I think it's going to be probably deeper in. And I, 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 and I love the idea of the grove. And, you know, I, um, I was thinking a lot about uh, when I talked, I, I didn't know Paul like you guys knew mm -hmm. Paul, but I had one really wonderful conversation with him when he talked about kind of his vision for the park, and he talked about Capability Brown. Yes, so, yes Brown. We, uh, we certainly know Capability so, Brown. A, a, a famous <laughs> English, English yeah. Yeah. landscape yeah. architect. And he, um, 18th century yeah. was his Very specialty, nice. and that pavilion was kind of designed to replicate like oh. an 18th century, yep. right? So Capability Brown would have had um, if we think about that, because that kind of was Paul's vision. He was about vistas. Very much so. Lately, you know, yeah. looking yeah. like a panorama yeah. Easter yeah. egg. And water was a big thing with Capability Brown, and we have the water already yeah. there, but that's the vista, the naturalistic kind of rolling. So just saying that if when Paul was thinking, that was kind of the vision he had of the landscape. So. Well, one thing that you should know about Capability Brown was that he was hired by lords of the manor, and he had no problem just completely destroying yeah. a peasant's village to get the to right get what he wanted. <laughs> yeah. So can we table this uh, uh, until we've done more on our more research. basic yeah. Well, yeah, and, and yeah, Can think... we, at the next meeting perhaps, spend a first segment of that either there or Adjourn to there. Yeah, but you know, honestly, I think maybe what we really need to do is see what that survey comes up with and then go there and see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we wait. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Wait, but wait, wait till you and, and uh, Mike feel it's the appropriate time. I don't know when that survey and is, what the survey is, is happening. For? This well, is for the invasives? No, the survey is, um, I so guess, a water. Lot, yes, lot, yeah, it's, it's, it's the permitting and engineering for the whole mm -hmm. site, actually. Whole site. Ed, Ed said that they were going to combine the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Liam, do you know anything about that? Uh, Ed reported to Rob, who reported to me, to report to everybody okay. that um, the town sent out a request for qualifications. They had three responses from engineering firms. They selected Pathways. Okay, good. Um, Pathways mm -hmm. is going to do um, the walking trails. They're going to design the walking trails, the parking oh. lot, as well as handle the shoreland permitting. Wow. And they have also engaged uh, Mike Burns as a subcontractor to them for his expertise in the design of um, the park. So, okay. um, so, so, so they got they accepted wow. the RFQs last night, um, but there's wasn't any request for bid that I heard yet, um, or a second bid. 
uh, in the process, uh, despite their saying that the other, that. other group um, that they considered as qualified um, was uh, they gone? just sort of passed off. And they don't want to do it. No, they wanted. Oh, it. okay. They, 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 it was just cho pathways was chosen. Okay. Uh, All right. So well, you're saying I, pathways I do, is chosen. From my they, select they, board experience, I do know that they don't necessarily have to take the lowest bid. They have to take the company that they feel would do the best job. Yeah. Well, no, no, no bid. Yeah. Yeah. This is just for the engineering stuff. Right. They'll right. have to still have a something planned. The bids. What up? That can't happen until yeah, the right. engineering is, is right. done. Yes. And so that's not about to happen anytime soon. Yeah, or I don't get any timetable from, from Rob about that. I'm sure they're already working on it. I, I met with uh, Pathways and Ed Morris in April, I believe it was. And um, mm -hmm. Ed, Ed told them that he wanted to move forward promptly. So right. I don't have... That wasn't discussed with me time frame, but um, okay. but then they have to go through the whole RQ oh. and, and RP oh. process for the actual work. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. How does that work with the grant and the timing on the grant? Well, it's September 24, so we've got it what a year and a half or a year and. And, and if you're into it, they're not finished. I bet it's okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so as far as the Mersky Grove goes, then, and also then that means that we can also consider other trees. Right. So, we have some time to think yeah, about it. Because these trees are smaller. Yeah. So the yeah. important thing is that the, it looks like it's going to be safely funded. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, the other thing, though, is if, it, if it's safely funded, then um, we can buy some of the more expensive trees. The that's uh, right. service berries and crab apples are some of the least expensive trees you might put in. Well, I don't think Mike was considering cost nearly no. as much as what would no, work. No, I'm just in the light of what we just found yeah. out. So we might here. expand that a little. We'll yeah. see I, I'd yeah. like to make a comment to the effect that um, great. One month, and you and they, you know, thank whoever was responsible for getting that to the select board organized and approved. Well, that would have, I assume, is that it to add? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying we need to we need to note the fact that that's work that yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. On the funding, I'd like to announce that Mrs. Burns sent in unsolicited a thousand dollars. Great, bless her. So. She Good continues to give. And does the town or do we send the thanks? The town sends the thanks. I mean, I send it as chairman uh, from the town. Okay. Thank you for doing that. Um, let's see, where is it? Um, she did this, the this, for some reason, this agenda got mixed up. Um, uh, the Austin Flint bird bath. Mm. We've gotten a request from it's on the back. I don't know whether it's from the Lake Association or from the Flint family. Does anyone know? Who's Austin Flint? He was a, a longtime Lake resident who died a couple of years ago. Okay. And I think at times he and his family have been uh, very active members, and I think even. President of uh, right, and, uh, right. He mm -hmm. even wrote a history of, mm -hmm. of uh, Lake Mascoma. Okay, I, I do know his wife was president after him. Oh, daughter, right. daughter. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, daughter, his daughter. So, uh, at any rate, daughter. there is okay. a bird bath. You have a picture of it. It's multicolored, and they Austin love birds, so they thought instead of a bench. Uh, Terry, do you know if this gift is coming from the Lake Association or from the Flint family? It's I'm from the Flint family. family. Okay. Um, they want they wanted a bird bath instead of uh, a bench, a memorial bench. Um, so you have a picture of it. If anybody wants to see what these things look like in reality, Jean Patton has one in her yard. It's not a bird bath, but the company makes multiple. I would call them garden ornaments. Mm -hmm. um, and Jean has one. If you think of the the support that holds the dish for the bird bath, she has one in her what I call her secret garden. Um, Does that require water? 
Yes, and the Lake Association has said the, a bird bath presents a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. uh, they attract mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to be cleaned weekly, yeah, at least. And with they, bird flu is actually an issue. And okay, uh, we certainly wouldn't want it near benches or or a or, or picnic tables. Yeah. Um, Elisa was here earlier and pointed out. Yes. Uh, a laundry list of, of issues about a bird bath. Um, Particularly we, with the lake. I mean, I had a bird bath. And I, I yeah, we do it, too. Yeah, and, and it gets filthy it in does no filthy, time. But, you know, I'm just saying, I do it because the birds need water. Well, yeah. the birds have water at the lake. Yeah. You know, that's, that's another good point. You know, well, can, I can I suggest that we delegate a member? Um, to meet with the different family and see if we can find something that may be more conducive to. They have uh, already purchased this, and are, and with it comes the guarantee that they will service it. They will clean it. They will fill it. They'll remove it at the end of the season. Was the email that I got? I think it came through Meredith, but that's what the family is also promising. It does have its. <coughs> Uh, yeah, it doesn't take care of the mosquito attractant issue or the thievery. I pointed out to Martha Rich that this would have to have a permanent installation. Even if it's removed in the wintertime, it has to be anchored somehow. Or it'll end up in the lake. The reason we, or in the back of somebody's pickup truck, the reason we selected the picnic tables and benches and the bike rack was because they're so heavy. And I can testify that it took four liberty utilities guys to move the bike rack. So uh, that's another issue. Martha said the family would take care of any permanent installation. I also, I mean, I, I don't want to be a naysayer. Um, um, it, are we going to have like a thousand of these different things? <laughs> well, that's a good point, Kate, and you'll see and that's on, down the, on the agenda. That's on the agenda, the establishment of policies for memorial donations. I think we asked them to hold off a bit. And, we, and I've seven. seen it happen at Ava. I mean, they have a basement full of junk that people have mm -hmm. bought, brought by and said, here, I'm do donating mm -hmm. XYZ. And it's useless stuff that ultimately has to go to the dump. Or, as you say, the area gets peppered with Jachis. Yeah, I think we need a policy. Yeah. And I think we asked them to just kind of slow down a bit mm -hmm. while we make a policy. And maybe that policy will, you know, um, accommodate the Flint because they were very late to active. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What know? about? I, I do believe that they were speaking to, were they speaking to you, Meredith, early on about this no. donation? No, it's all gone through Martha Rich. When was the they first time you said. heard about it? From Martha Rich. When? Like oh, uh, two or three months ago, and I forgot to put it on last month's agenda. They wanted permission to put this bird bath at the lake, and I forgot to put it on the agenda last month. Sorry. Well, I think David's got a good idea. Somebody's got to chat with them and explain that we're not yeah. ready to accept this kind of contribution at this time. Yeah. yeah. It's not that we're saying no. Yeah. And, and but we're also still, the we're other still side in the planning that. process for yeah. the whole rest of the park. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. And uh, it would be a lot easier. Well, well maybe, Ter maybe Terry's the Yeah. Right Terry, do you want to take <laughs> on the job? <laughs> not really. Yeah, but, I, am, I am. Allison is a personal friend, and I just, uh, it would be hard. Okay. I, I can appreciate that. I've been on board with Allison in the past, uh -huh. and um, she's not a personal friend. So, I, I mean, I, I think she can understand from our perspective uh, organizationally where we are. Yeah, it, it's not against yeah. their donation. It's that we have a lot of questions so, and issues right now. And we now. have to yeah. accept the fact that whatever we do with them, we're going to do the 10 of exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uncle Charlie died last month, and right. we'd like to put a, right. a light up Virgin okay. Mary. Or, or 20 or 50. And, and actually, I think there is another family that is kind of waiting as well, and that's the crates, I believe. We're yes. kind of talking about a tree as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I okay. think 
it, you'd be good at it. Okay. Yeah. I, as a, I'm willing to if, if that's what the desires. desires. Now, if they want to change it just as a suggestion, they might consider a memorial tree. Like the, Dartmouth has this memorial tree plan mm -hmm. program where they put a plaque on the tree, mm -hmm. a tree that would attract birds. Mm -hmm. But, but, but if, if they've already purchased this, this is going to be a little bit more complicated. Well, they're about $300, so it's not like it's yeah, going to be well, a huge loss. They can I, think, still I think what they wanted to do, too, is to bring it over when the um, MLA is having their annual party. If they wanted to do that, I think that's fine. Everybody in the MLA can see it as long yeah, as they sure. take it home with them. Yeah, but, yeah and, I don't see that as and, a, and, and we could uh, be there either as members or guests. Uh, <laughs> I don't take a look at know, it. Do you need a motion to send David on this mission? Yes. <laughs> I so move. Um, I'll I second, second it. it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So David is going to be our liaison to the Flint family. Thank you, David. And you will clarify that we have nothing against a memorial to Austin, <laughs> certainly. It's just that right now the park is very much in flux. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And there are issues with the very idea of a bird bath. Mm -hmm. um, for those and reasons, I, I think <laughs> that donations are great, but it has to be something that the park has got on their wish list. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good point, yeah. Terry. Good I like point. It's got to be part of our plan. Yeah. Which, yeah. which takes us to the next uh, item yes. on the agenda. Right? right. Moving right along, mm -hmm. establishing policies for memorial donations. Mm -hmm. Now we're not going to create these today, but um, we do need to begin to think about this more than think about it, have a written set of policies. Could a subcommittee do some research on this? Good idea. Yeah. So are you volunteering, Doug? I, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be good at that. Okay. Yeah. Um. And does anyone have any suggestions just to think about right now for what we want and don't want on memorial donations? Mm -hmm. First, all have to be approved by. Well, yeah, ultimately, I would, I would say that it, it should either be already on our wish list or that it should be, you know, given to the group to ahead of time before purchase. Consider. Yeah. Consider. Yeah. 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 And don't I can, I can decide sure. you want some. Research. I mean, online. I'm happy to do that. In other words, uh, people would have to submit a proposal, not go out and buy right. whatever. Right. And, right. So right. A, a motion to appoint Doug and Kate. No, this was we're working on the on the memorial. research. That's yeah. one part. I'm talking about the criteria for okay. memorial don donations. Yeah. Criteria. I would, I would just suggest it as one criteria, just the limitations of what you can do down the shoreland Certain regarding yeah. excavation and impervious surfaces yeah. that Good. those should be so considered. So follow the, the guidelines of the Shoreline Protection Act. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Very important. And what, I, what, I'm, what, I'm, what, I'm, what you're doing is there must, other areas have obviously dealt with this. Yeah. So if we get online, we can find. You know, I love copying what other people have done and yeah. not having to reinvent the wheel. Well, I mean, in terms of, you know, how do you, because obviously, yeah. I, I can think of um, people I'd like to remember, but, you know, I mean, you know, at the park, why not? Right? Yeah. Anybody so, well, I, I made that motion. Is there a second? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. So with the motion again, say it. That uh, Doug and Kate be designated to subcommittee to come up with the um, rec research and, and, and come up with recommendations for our park. I'll second that. Discussion is... Discussion uh, for uh, donate for establishing donate policies right. policies for uh, memorial yeah. donations. I would say for any donations and not any donation. Right, it doesn't okay. have to be memorial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. yeah. unless it's cash. Donations of property. Yeah, like cash <laughs> in U.S. currency. <laughs> table. We don't want that either. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we ready to vote? Our, yes. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Good. I'll get in touch with you, Joe. Okay. okay. Um, see, for some reason, this made, got made into two columns. Um, infrastructure subcommittee report. Do you have any report? Um, subcommittee. 
I do. Was there a mention about the byways grant, or is that uh, uh, that's later? Um, yes, yeah, that's later. Okay, all right. Um, <coughs> we uh, um, were designated by the uh, committee at the last meeting for Ken and his family members to come up with uh, signs for the kiosk. Um, in the situation where we're a, a subgroup of the subcommittee, um, and um, as I understand it, the, the subcommittees uh, are not um, enabled unless specifically um, specified by the uh, whole committee, possibly the chair, um, or the uh, town manager and select board to go ahead and do work on our own. Um, we have not put these on the kiosk as yet, although they've been ready for a couple of weeks. And Liam, did you get my email that I just yeah. sent about the um, picture to screen share what's currently there if anybody doesn't remember? Um, that's so what Ken, you need to hang out your shingle as a shingle maker. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. That's great. If you, hold, if you hold it up, Ken, and, and say something, I may. There we go. You hit somebody in the head. <laughs> well, it's all right. There it is. Waterboard. This is this is, oh, the, this is the owl. Ken. Ken. Oh. This is the camera. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> right. Say something. Something. There we go. <laughs> Looks great. So, where uh, does that go? On either side of the kiosk. Uh, um, because so, otherwise it looks like, you know, what is that, a lemonade stand? Or? <laughs> so, 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 so we're seeking um, approval to um, attach it to the kiosk. Um, and you have two of them? Are you planning to attach it to the back where the, where the um, plexiglass is? Both, yes, both sides. Okay, just be aware that the plexiglass opens up. Yep. So the yeah. hinge is there. Yep, and I've got a key I'm for sure that. I'm sure you saw so. that, but. So it'll go above the plexiglass or? No. On the behind the plexiglass? Inside the plexiglass. In the, inside, inside, the inside the plexiglass okay. and on the back side that does not have a covering as yet anyway. So. Uh, may I bring up the, this back side issue? Yes. The back side is really a back side. It's in the mud. It's, it's pointless. very difficult to yeah. get back there. I don't think anybody would venture back there to see what's on it. Well, one of the very one of the issues somehow or other we've got to put it out where both sides can yeah. be. It should be part accessed. of Mike's plan. Well, one, one, one of the visions that the subcommittee has discussed, okay. we haven't decided on anything, is a recommendation that when the parking lot is done, that that kiosk be turned. 90 degrees and be symmetrical in terms of its covering. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, so yeah is and there actually, any reason why I, it can't be done before? Well, that? I well, remember after somebody now. from the town we were it's asking us to make so it one, 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 one time. Changing the angle. Yeah, changing, yeah. changing yeah. 90 degrees. Yeah. So is it heavy? Can, is that a heavy? It, it require heavy equipment. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, and, okay. and holes. Okay. Oh, okay. So our, our Liberty guys couldn't do it. Yeah, then. yeah. <laughs> Those okay. Liberty guys are pretty good, but <laughs> they couldn't move that. And okay. I would love to see the kiosk painted or stained white so that it doesn't oh. look so rough oh. and look like it was tied in more with the pavilion. Because mm. mm. it's pretty rough looking. Mm, that's certainly. Yeah. A reasonable idea that wouldn't cost much for paint. No, nope. a little bit of labor. Oh, we're rich. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. so we're not ready for the exact. No, we are ready for yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just paint. thinking down the line. Yeah. Um, See, it was made out of pressure treated, and you can't paint or stain pressure treated for six months, but it's been out there for a while. And it's been out a couple of years. So. So it's well seasoned. Um, so, do they talk with you? you Liam about which paints to get or is it with the um, um, Jim or Ron? Jim has the budget for that so um, but it would come out of the, the, the park budget I presume. Okay I, I, I can mention it to Jim tomorrow if you want me to and just say that I want, want, want I think to white stain white opaque stain is you know paint will chip and peel right the stain goes into the guts of the wood and does, easy, does easy. the white, does it cover it? Will it be yeah. kind of sheer? Good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, it's opaque. It looks like paint, That's but right. it's, it sinks into the wood. Okay. I my, think it my gets guess more it would protection. be you know, somewhere between thirty and fifty dollars for yeah. um, the, the, the uh, probably one gallon of, of stain. Yeah. So for the work day project. I was just going to say that as well because mm -hmm. I know that they're so short staffed. At, at the DPW, oh, but it should be a, it if, should be a something yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's our responsibility. Yeah, we can yeah. do a, we could do a volunteer work day for something like that, yeah. a small one, or a segment of, of a regular work day. Yeah, yeah. No poison ivy involved. Well. <laughs> Hopefully, <Okay. laughs> we'll just send Patty. Okay. <laughs> okay. So all right. So Steve, what do you great. want then? You, you want the town to send up a request for proposals for that, or a request for quotes? <laughs> or what, what, what's the role of Jim here now? Then? Um, I'll give him a call. Okay. Yeah, because be, I don't you think you need an RFP or, for a gallon uh, of paint. You right. want to talk to him? I'll, I'll, talk, I'll, talk, I'll talk to him, and then um, if we have the authorization for the com committee for our subcommittee to go ahead and do that. Yeah, and, and actually, I mean, like right, other subcommittees, we've that. given them for totally expensive deals. Yeah, trees, yeah, it's you know? not a big deal. Right? Okay. Yeah. Good. good. All right. That'll look good. Take and, and, and I'll, cash. And I'll uh, um, coordinate with the the. Yeah. yeah. Just as an aside, the young man who built the uh, Nick Williams. Nick Williams not only donated the kiosk, but he had cash left over to donate eight hundred and forty dollars oh, in additional. Uh -huh. So I'm spending a little. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, he he. It was an interesting story. He did it as an Eagle Scout project, and he established a GoFundMe page mm -hmm. and. Uh, he raised quite a bit of money and then had, I think, almost all his materials donated mm. through people like LaValle's. Mm. Uh, I don't know where the Home Depot was involved, but so he had this extra cash, which he donated to the what? town, to the park as well. That's In my financial records, I put an arbitrary value of $800 on the kiosk. Does that sound appropriate? Eight hundred dollars at least. Yeah, exactly. I was that's probably, probably double yeah. that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <coughs> well, in today's in today's market. market. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but the other the other issue coming along with that was sort of what 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 is the protocol for moving ahead as individuals or subcommittees uh, of of this committee? Like, yeah. if, if you had come in and said we painted it. Is that inappropriate? I mean, well, we've discussed it. And no, no, we, without discussion. Well, He's asking. Oh, you know, no. Or are we, you know, or, or we just went ahead and put this up? Is that it? I mean, I, I think yes. that's rather. Yeah. Um, He's trying to say presumptuous. What, you know, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't think we want to go too far no. ahead of what. Absolutely, good yeah. point, David. Yeah. Uh, we don't do anything without discussing it with the entire committee. I second that. Be it planting or putting up signs. Or a book. Kiosk or, or oh, whatever you call that. That yeah, the yeah. little library that yeah. bothered me because it was supposed to be a shaker style. Nobody asked us right. whether so, we wanted a little library hmm. there. It just appeared. So you're saying that basically as as we move forward, these are just replace existing signs. Yeah. 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 That's not a problem, Ken. No. Um, it's, and it, you know, in the case of the snowmobiles, they always check with us. They check with us every year. Mm -hmm. Um, and their signs are all temporary, temporary and, yeah. right? And he comes and ropes it off. They do a lot of work. Mm, yeah, and yeah. I want to say I like your signs. Yeah, nobody, nobody's upset great. about the signs, and I expected them. You guys raised it last meeting. Mm -hmm. All right, we're not criticizing. We're asking: Is there a way that we all know? Because you know, I don't have a lot of experience with town committees. No, right. well, I you know, I, I know well, that might be all. I wasn't always right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, you know, and I've I've done things with the with the flags and the um, cones and uh, other things uh, for the, the lines um, independently and sort of wondered. I mean, it was right it was the right thing to do, but it was it was not necessary. The choice becomes do you, do you just do it um, because it's the right thing to do, even if it's not particularly urgent, um, or do you wait? What can be you know. What seems like a long time between mm -hmm. monthly meetings. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, at this point, I think that the remaining cones and flags are about ready to come come off. Uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. I think um, 
when we're all working together as a team for sort of the common good of mm -hmm. the park, I think that that what you know that's great and that's the way it should be. I think that when it's difficult is if committee members decide on their own this is what's going to happen and then they just go ahead and do it. And then actually it becomes counterproductive because, yeah, I mean, everybody's time too is so valuable that I think knowing, you know, and, and moving forward is important too. So mm -hmm. I get it about the time in between meetings where you feel like you could be making progress on things. But I think as long as we're all on the same page and we have the same uh, goal, mm -hmm. yeah. But the, your point is, we don't go off independently right. and act on our own. Right. Yeah. Unless you're picking up trash, you can do that. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Speaking of trash, Terry, I noticed when Patty and I were at the park last night, there are two trash cans and no recycling can. Wasn't there a recycling can and a trash can? And I wondered yeah. about that. I never saw a trash can. I saw a can that had looked like it was designed to be a recycle bin. Right. And yes. now it says trash yeah. on it in big letters. Okay. Okay. All right. That's right. new. I haven't oh. been over there. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them yeah. trash. I've I been in this position for two weeks, so I haven't seen anything. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh. Speaking of that area, I have an eyewitness that saw somebody going around and around the pavilion with a car. Oh my in a car. car. In a car. Oh my God. Yeah. What kind of a car would go between? My, my brother was down here and he saw it. And I've seen it before anyway. Guy got up onto oh, the rail trail. Yeah. And so that's something we got to figure happening. out. Well, that <laughs> also would be that do, Memorial do, Grove needs to Is be. it on the game camera? Is the game camera still there? I don't know. No. It's not supposed it's to be on the rail trail either. Nope. Yeah. Well, Ken, you told me once they rode all the way to Lebanon on the rail trail in a car. Yeah, yeah, and I had to go up and say, hey, you know, you're on a rail trail. Oh going, oh. Yeah, <laughs> mind your own business. Here's <laughs> a car picture car. of your black. <coughs> so they went around the pavilion between the pavilion and the bench, the, yeah. the stone yeah. wall. I, I missed the first part. Okay, so did the, they went around the pavilion? Yeah, yeah they came up the approach and then just joyride around this pavilion because you can go around well, with it. So maybe we should have get their one. license plate number. Oh my I don't know. I, I didn't see that second one. We're going to need something over there. That is you know, Unless we put in speed bumps. <laughs> it just still yeah. doesn't stop them. I, we've got one on Livingstone Lodge Road, and I still see people going 40, 50 miles an hour. Yeah. I think they see Tara, so they think it's... Yes, yeah, I agree. So I'm saying again, when we, when we, took, when we discuss our memorial donations, whatever, whatever, you know, like a grove that's yeah. maybe even larger than Mersey. But maybe that somehow it has to be positioned such that it prevents you from. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could put a chain across the bottom of the ramp. Could move the, 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 the ramp that goes up to the pavilion. Every time we suggested a chain, I get shot down. Um, it's a plastic it's chain. It's potentially, I mean, it, it could be there, but it, it would have to be done carefully because bikes coming down aren't expecting that. I, w I wouldn't cover the whole thing. I'd leave the best oh, space or even bicycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do we why why do we put a ramp that that's why there leading up to the pavilion? Handicap for, access for pedestrians. Okay. So it would have to any post would have to be wide enough for a wheelchair. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but you could put two, maybe three posts across that, and not even yeah. a chain. Um, j j right, like bollards, like they have in, in London, they have bollards in roads so the car can't go any mm -hmm. further. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They call them a bar a bar bollard. Bollard, B O L L A R D. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, you're going to have to do something. Yeah, yeah. that's really yeah. shocking. And the black marks on the concrete, every Worse. time I get yeah. there, they're just awful. Yeah. And what troubles me is oh, a lot of things trouble me. But this park has been a generous gift to the town. And if that's what the townspeople think of it, that they have no more respect or care. But they don't represent the whole town. No. Yeah, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump to the fact that they're townspeople. We don't know who these people are. So. Okay. Well, Roy Holland says they're teenagers. I would agree. Probably. 
but they have been brought up properly. <laughs> I've got teenagers in my family that wouldn't think of doing that. <laughs> Okay. I don't have any in my family anymore, thank God. <laughs> and I've seen teenagers riding skateboards at Shaker Village on the porches, the stone yeah. porches. You know, I mean, it's like teenagers go through a period where they do idiotic things. Yeah, yeah they need a place to do those things. Well, I, I what saw... I did wasn't idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a, a, a man that was beyond middle aged riding his bicycle off the rail trail and right down that slope. But luckily, it seems that most people are not. And so, right. both pedestrians and bicyclists. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I mean, they, they haven't damaged the lawn as much as I might have expected. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. come, yeah down, people are good. And Enfield has good people. We want to remember that. This is a gift. To I wish town. I could believe you. Well, listen, this is it, this is a, a wonderful. This park is a wonderful gift to the town in the area. All right, and these are little bumps in the road. That's right. May I just uh, comment on the fact that the ceiling looks very clean, and I'm yeah, the new cleaning. I'm work, wondering cleaning if person that's is. a deliberate act on the part of the town to keep the ceiling clean. If so, thank you and congratulations. Yeah, you mentioned yeah. it to. to uh, it would be probably Rick doing that. I would imagine. Figures. Yeah. Rick is a gem. He does a good job over there. Yeah. 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 Maybe we should give an award to Rick. You know, that's something to think about. I'm serious. He really yeah. cares about the yeah. park. Rick yeah. cares about the town, I can tell you that. Yeah, what, and was he it, cares was Rick about the two that put the, uh, the stone in around the. the uh, uh, I believe it was Rick. I don't know exactly who did that. Okay. And I, it, it would at, likely be. Yeah, Rick. They, they were working. That was heavy. heavy we should have made him. Isn't there something like a non-voting member of the tonight or, or an honorary? You know? Well, it, it, listen, let's think about this for yeah. the next meeting. Some kind of a public award for Rick at a select board meeting where he is he's singled out for his work. Nice. I would do I it for the, above and beyond. Do it for Rick and his, yeah. the other Good. people involved yeah. in maintenance of that part. There's a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not, not Patty knows yeah. them all. Yeah. <laughs> they, okay, they, but they, I'm just yeah, it would be good yeah, to they recognize. Love that. Yeah. They love that. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they can't. They, you know, I mean, and we're, we're the behaving. The alternative the, is money, and we. <coughs> it's it's just just that point, we're behaving the opposite of the people who are ri riding around them. Yeah. The yeah. So let's you know, yeah. let's be. Well, active. I believe well, in well, saying thank you to the people that deserve it. Right. Good. So we. Another trip I was out there. I looked over the side from the kiosk, and there was this. Motor looked like it came off. Oh, yeah. I, I thought that was gone though. Did you see it recently? Yeah, it's gone now. It's gone. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Rick and then I noticed that. that the dog swimming sign was mm. laying on the ground. I didn't know if that was on purpose or. Uh, I've had complaints about the dog swimming business yeah, was, and that people are using the boat ramp to take their dogs down to the lake. It's such a certain place that's yeah. no trash, though. It could I mean, put, put, putting that sign up is, is a matter of just taking a, a, a small sledge and, and, and doing it. Um, yeah. I can do it if, if that's what the community so wants. So the, the dog sign is down by the boat launch. That's well, there. It's but way we're over. About the there, one there's there's one over by, the, over by the pavilion that yeah. says, says dog, dog, dog swimming area. Dog yeah. swimming area. Yeah, and, that and, one's and, down. And it's a, it's a, no, it's that was a laying right on the ground and weeds growing all over uh, everything. So. And and while we're on that subject, I noticed yesterday when I was over there with Patty that there's a huge pon pontoon boat mm -hmm. that has uh, moored itself right near the dog swimming area. Yeah. And <coughs> that could be a potential problem if we start having other power boats yeah. Is come that in there. Part of the... Is that the same one that's been there for the last two years? I know it's a it's more new one to me. There was something on the list serve in the last sometime during the winter where somebody was <coughs> trying to recruit people to join him in funding a boat that they would moor at the park. And I went, oh, oh really? Oh I yeah. missed that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And oh. it was on your oh, it was public on the boat. Yeah. 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 It was sort of like there was an assumption there that that would be accepted. Yeah. You know? So who knows? By that, what can we do? Right. Because no, anybody can Mooring regulations. Well, aren't, aren't there some rules around moorings no. on the lake? No. Yes. On the, the, on, the only All you have to do is be able to get to your boat 
and as long as you're yeah, not within sure uh, access, you have legal yeah, access. Somebody else yeah. is uh, 150 feet, I think, or something. Right. So it needs to be a certain distance away. From no, it no. has to be within 150 feet. Within of shore. 150 feet of shore. <clears throat> and you have to have legal access. That's why you don't see them near the um, town-owned boat ramp there and the big well ramp. Madeline Johnson oh, has a terrible problem with people anchoring oh, yeah. right off of her shore. Yeah. They're there for the whole day. And they yeah. come up onto her property and use it as a toilet. And where is that one? At the end of the lake. The lake. There's been lots of complaints about oh, yeah. Yeah. Every year. Every year. Yeah. 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 What they've done is they've just put a bunch of kayaks in the water right. yeah. recently. Yeah. And they got all their complaints. Yeah. This has been a couple of years. They've been I have my that. complaint. We're, we're two thirds of the way up there. And on a busy day, <coughs> it's just constant, you know, back and forth. Back yeah. And forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Are we going to hear from the uh, landscape community? Or right. Yes. Sorry. Right. Not that we should. Okay, uh, so let's see. Oh, well, we have, uh, is the uh, infrastructure I, I think so, unless so there are hey, other did questions. Did we answer the question? Do we? Well, uh, in terms of, do we need, I don't think we need a motion. I think we just need a general understanding yeah. of all yeah. members that that's the way we're going to operate. Right. Got it. All right. So, yeah, we had two um, work days, uh, which were both, very successful. Um, the first one we worked on removing invasives um, from that Oak Grove area near the um, Patton Path. And then the second one we had was in the Department of Transportation garden beds just to get those edged and prep for the season. <coughs> um, so that was good. That went well. Um, actually, the, the second one, so <laughs> One of the things that we learned in UNH Extension was when you have a groups of volunteers that it's best to do a five to one rate ratio, one kind of person overseeing five volunteers. Um, I had an incident at the second um, work day where I had a big group of volunteers and it was really hard to keep my eyes on everybody at the same time and running back and forth. Um, and one of the things that happened was like literally, so the Liberty linemen were removing a small um, rose bush from one of the beds, but then they actually somehow in miscommunication pulled out one of the cotton easters. The shrub was ruined. Um, I was really frustrated that day because I had committee members there, but they were there with their own agenda. And that was really hard for me because again, I needed help um, trying to keep everybody going at the same time. We had two hours to get 14 garden beds ready for the season. So I um, I don't want to manage large groups like that alone. And um, it's the, one of the best ways we can get things done in the park. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out going forward how we staff those volunteer work days. Um, I, I think- Is 14, 15 about what you usually get? So we, you know, the first one we had, I think there were 10, and then the second one, there were 11. I thought you said we had one where there were only two people. So that was the, that was one that I almost canceled because we only had <coughs> two, two mastoma tellers signed up, but then that, at this, like literally the day before, I had four Liberty okay. Utilities guys okay. um, sign up. And so, so those guys, like, are super hard workers. Like I, I have never had volunteers work so hard. They're not. They're not afraid of poison ivy. They're not afraid of God. cutting down trees. Um, they Our were kind of overskilled. <laughs> they were almost overskilled for the Department of Transportation beds, right? Because they just really want to get in there and get everything done. So in future work days, you know, where where they go, what they do is going to be important um, because like I said they, they, they're not afraid of hard work so um, but yeah um, so so, we so as a just as a leadership strategy in that situation um, if you you know the, the five to one ratio seems like it's like a good one yeah and, and making sure that you have that leadership uh, and the they get together for 15 minutes before everybody else arrives. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, to, to sort of, okay, you're going to do this, you're going to do this, you're going to do this, mm -hmm. and, and, and take your teams and, and then d divide that up. Yeah. Um, 
might might be might be helpful. Right, and actually, we had when we had that big big work day um, for the Byways grant, um, because there were thirty something people. That's what we did. We had team kind of captains. Everybody had their work order. They went and did what they did. And I think with these work days, like we had to, so the second work day, I did not want to be working in poison ivy personally, but I also didn't want the volunteers necessarily exposed either. Um, and so, and and we pretty much decided uh, that we would work on the DOT beds. Um, so yeah, I think um, in the future, like the next one that's planned, I'll just need to know that I have a second committee member there um, who can help with, you know, Kind of keeping an eye on the teams, the mm -hmm. second or even a third. Yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. even some kind of identifying badge or oh, you know yeah. like those things you're yeah. hanging or around. Just your a, neck. a yellow, a badge yellow or badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That you, you know, if you got three, um, even what do you call those uh, handkerchiefs yeah. around your neck? Or yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I want to say somehow, um, that you know, I think you'll have less of a problem if you have fewer work days in terms of getting. Committee members. I, that's fine, and I, I yeah, I, I agree. You know, right. right. And yeah. if there's yeah. a commitment ahead of time, I want to know if you knew before the work days that you were going to have 15 people. Um. Oh, was it a response? Yeah. To? No, no, I knew. Um, one of them I knew just the day before, and then the second one. I mean, the the Liberty linemen usually don't show up, uh, don't sign up. It seems like until literally like the last minute. Mm -hmm. Um. That's and, right. I'm just saying. So you knew. Yeah. You need it. So yeah. another time yeah. you could you could you know, put an email out right. saying, okay. Yeah. I'm, I, right. Yeah. Somebody's got to step up. Yeah. And I think that we have to agree upon what the task of the day is. Right. Mm -hmm. That's really important. Um, and that's, I think, where the disconnect came. Well, right I there. think that's well, up to you. If, kind of, if you're the leader yeah. of this whole project, mm -hmm. then I think, you know, is this you, you, is, you, you, you're the captain, there are lieutenants. Um, and then, and then there's the the the, uh, yeah, this, the rest of the teams. Yeah. yeah, and I think that that's what I was referring to earlier, that we have to make sure that we're kind of all on the same page, um, that we're all working towards the same thing. Um, and so, I mean, you know, the, the other, and, it, and it's also on the, the agenda, but the, next, the planting, it's like planting new things at the park. I keep saying, and I know, Penny, we have a disagreement on this, but I keep saying we can't be adding things to the park. There is a whole theory about when you open up a space and remove invasives that now you've got an open space primed for something that shouldn't be there. But is that that's not really the biggest focus? And I have so, a shed full of black cloth that you use in the garden. That yeah, to cover things. But I think um, you know, just kind of agreeing like these are the projects that are important for the park for the summer, and these are the things that should get priority. So um, you're saying uh, you don't want us to fill as we uh, remove invasives? I'm saying the only place I think we should be putting plants right now are in the DOT beds. Those are fine for adding things to, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think adding plants to other areas is wise. Yeah, I mean, think we're still in the planning phase for right, the whole rest right, of the park. Exactly. And we also have a plan in yeah. place that's been approved by the select board. Yeah. And we are committed to adhering to the select board approved plan. Mm -hmm. But even do, uh, what I'm also hearing more than you know the commission is the fact that um, the leader, okay, has to say this is the agenda today mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and nothing else happens today. right there right. that that's mm -hmm. the, yeah this okay. is it yeah. yeah could you get your lieutenants to arrive 15 minutes yeah sure ideas. i could yeah yes and i did think i had a lieutenant mm -hmm. <laughs> that day, but the lieutenant had a different agenda and that is where really i think that that was the big disconnect it was it's very frustrating honestly um because i you know um we can debate and we can discuss and we can debate all these different things, but really we don't all have that kind of luxury of extra time to sit and ponder all of these things. I think the, and the planting of the little plants, you know, I, in my mind, I'm thinking, who's going to go back and water it? Um, is it going to get, you know, one little plant in a three acre park is easily lost. So those are all the things. It's the maintenance piece. And and is it the best use of our time? Right. Okay. And I, 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 I can easily see where it could happen that, and I'm thinking of the sales of work days over the years, you know, and how they've evolved. 
um, where people arrive and look around and say, oh, I can do this. Mm -hmm. and yes, there exactly. And they go yeah. up half yeah. cock. Yeah. Yeah. So and things yeah. aren't done right. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, well, and, yeah. and I may defend myself as far oh, are you as the I'm the lieutenant. You're the lieutenant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. The, but, no, don't be sorry. Uh, but uh, my... I, I was feeling very badly that um, Patty had had so much trouble with poison ivy, and I was interested in seeing whether I could try to, uh, because the previous week we'd worked on uh, removing the black locust from the uh, that area, and um, there had been poison ivy there, and there were gaps from where the locusts were. And so my thought was, if I put some cone flowers and things in that would come up fairly quickly, they would shade the area because the locusts were removed and the, the poison ivy <clears throat> would come back even more quickly because of nothing to shade and discourage it. So my hope was I was going to be doing something that would be helpful. And, and her hope was that you were going to And I was tenor. seeing it, well, I was seeing it as finishing something we'd done the week before, yeah. and she was clearly had her own goals, and I appreciate those goals, but I thought she had plenty of people to deal with that, and that my being over at the other thing wouldn't be a particular problem. The, the other people had worked beautifully in the <clears throat> growth previously, but it was a different story yeah. in the end, but I was not aware of that. Well, I was communication of leadership is what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And, 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 and so I saw it in the, yeah. po the poison ivy piece okay. was that we weren't going to work in the poison ivy spots on the 26th work day. And, in, you know, just because... Well, I didn't know that, though. But, mm -hmm. Penny, I did it. I, we talked about that. That the poison you ivy... You we was, talked about it. Well, well, well Penny is the boss. So anybody I'm working... With that. Anyone all right, working... There was miscommunication. Yeah, we can all agree on that. And we'll, and I think... I, I admire the two of you for even bringing it up at this meeting. The point is, how do we, make, how do we work to make better communication... Yeah getting ready for work days. Right, right. right. And, and you two are obviously the, the, the plan <clears throat> experts on the committee. And, and, right. and we're glad to have you and, both. And there, there are likely differences of opinion, just as there may be Except different. that Patty is a master gardener, oh, a I, certi I, certified I, I, I master gardener. I understand that, right. but um, there's good ideas that percolate up from um, subordinates as well and and if leaders aren't able to to recognize those and adjust then um standing on laurels doesn't help well, but there's also this thing of you know not today not a bad idea and actually that's not a bad right. idea yeah. right not today right all right yeah, you know? yeah. okay yeah that boat needs painting yeah, on today. Right. yeah and today we're working on xyz and yeah. I, I totally believe that it takes every single soldier is vital and important to the oh, mission yeah. like i absolutely believe that and honestly there have been many times where i've just kind of not pushed on things because again everybody's busy i i think that the you know my point that the frustrating part was okay knowing that the, uh, it, it really the poison ivy is a concern. It's yes. not just because that's what we need okay. to talk about. <laughs> the poison ivy, and for me, I really and it was obviously a concern to Penny. And, and still, and, I, yet, and, and yet, I, still and there I, was I, two and different I, approaches I of how to deal with it. Yeah. I appreciate that absolutely. I guess the point just is that if we're going to have work days, we have to agree upon the task for that work day, mm -hmm. um, and the communication and, for that work yeah, day ahead and, of time. And if yeah. you can't, what if we're you doing. can't do it in 15 minutes beforehand or at least, then you should do it the day before right. and and right. and then just touch base just before i wonder if it would be uh, helpful to have a written sheet of the job for today so, is yes and actually i don't know you guys landscape committee i did actually email everybody a list and kind of said let's figure out the priorities on this list of what is most important but we've already chucked checked off some of the things on the last two work days but that um you know to see what is important and, and that was kind of my goal with mm -hmm. that was i may think this is important but you may think that's important i'm not unwilling to listen absolutely ahead of time right i think you know what yeah I, i'm sorry maybe this isn't the but you know my thing was um yeah just i uh, think and, I, I mean i i think again putting it on the table that there was an issue around 
supervising and leadership and everything mm -hmm. else. And mm -hmm. then I'm hearing good suggestions, one of which is get it out there ahead of time, what's going to be covered, period. Right. I tried that at the I last remember, I remember one. that. And, okay. I, and, and I was told, the, the committee member said, I'm not here. I didn't, I mean, what does that mean? I'm not here. I'm, you're, I'm looking at you, you're right in front of me, but you're not here. Mm -hmm. So that was, that, that. it was hard. Look, you know, these work days take a lot of planning, a lot of emails, you got to recruit people. It's not so simple. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess just going forward, if we're going to have volunteer work days, we'll have, you know, based right. on the number of people, we'll we have need the right and, leaders. And, I, and what I'm leaders. hearing, you know, aside from the issue for the last work day, <laughs> the thing I'm hearing is, damn it, Kate, you got to sign up to one of these work no. days. No, and actually, <laughs> honestly, no, because I That's understand. That's not what she's saying at all. And okay. I understand. No, that. I mean, as you need, you need sub leaders. <laughs> right, right. Saying, you know, because right. honestly, like I totally get it. I, personally, I understand how things, you know, things happen in life, and you can't always be. No, no, I'm not. That's not so, it. I'm saying that it but, seems to us. Where, where are your sub leaders going to come from? From the committee. From the committee. Okay, I would and think. so I'm saying or, I'm a member of the committee, or, and I will commit to or, one, or, and others will commit to one. Well, we more. could also. I could also recruit a master gardener. Mm -hmm. I've got. I did have one master gardener who showed up, and he 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 had various. He pruned all the rose bushes, but I could have asked Bill if he would like to be a team captain. I mean, that yeah. is fine too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just really. I, I have a responsibility to make sure that these volunteers don't get themselves hurt or don't hurt somebody else. And, and you can't it, or hurt a bush. So, yeah, exactly. So, so I think exactly. we've heard quite a bit on this. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm not, not sorry. No, no. Um, it's yeah. important. But do does the subcommittee, uh, I guess called the landscape committee, mm -hmm. able to handle this internally and work I that with the, one with the, the question, with the, which is when we do sign up uh, for the other days. Um, are we going to hear back from you as far as whether there are any uh, people coming? Because I, I came this past week and because I signed up for it, but there was nobody else there and I watered everything. Oh, we didn't have a work day this week. And I didn't, yeah, and I, I sent you back a thing and said we talk about it this meeting. That's the thing is like if we're going to set up, the, if we're going to set up work days, so do we have a new schedule then that shows who signed up? We have exactly the schedule that was passed around the last one. It's I, exactly I, the same. I yeah. Do it's, I have it? I, don't know. I mean, yeah. what I'm saying is, can can we delegate to the subcommittee further discussions? Mm -hmm. we'll we'll sure. We can yes. work this out together. However, I, I would like to bring up the uh, I have invasives under landscape, mm -hmm. and that is certainly most importantly the poison ivy and at the last meeting ed said it is something that the town is probably going to have to address like the japanese not um why is bad stuff always japanese <laughs> you know the japanese the japanese not weed <laughs> and it's called the war too <laughs> yeah. the um dog park um because they had poison ivy and I thought they had hired somebody to come in, but I was wrong. They decided they did had they get, patches and they just dealt with it themselves. So uh, how did they do it, Terry? Quietly. Uh, well, they, okay. yeah, they, they did it in areas where dogs weren't in there. And I think they used some, they didn't use Roundup or anything. They used some sort no, of No, there's supposedly one that is, is okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when when the sailing club was over on the 4A side of the, of the lake, oh, yeah. um, we ran into some trouble uh, when some members that. independently went ahead and okay. sprayed something on yeah. uh, for a path yeah. down to the boat. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the, the DOT was very unimpressed, <laughs> to say the least. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, yeah. Uh, um, Ask for forgiveness and apparently have been, but um, it, it's something that needs to be done, mm -hmm. particularly when you're close to the shore, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, with careful consideration of, of that. And is it you, Liam, that would help with that? I, I think so. I mean, I believe it's Department of Agriculture that has pesticide licensing rules mm -hmm. for if you're going to okay. apply apply. Uh, Pesticides and then there's shoreland permit uh, protection act requirements for proximity to 
uh, shorelands for application of pesticides, so they both overlap. So you're supposed and to I'm be sure licensed they spur, by the state. Vernal pools too. There was a woman that spoke at the Upper Valley Land Trust, or she was from the Upper Valley Land Trust at the Lake Association meeting three, four years ago, and she mentioned a Roundup type product it's that is site. that's safe to use uh, next to the bodies of water. G L Y P H P L Y. You know G L G L Y P H O S A T E. Um, Glyphosate is actually a, a plant enzyme and um, it's not harmful to fish. So if it's pure glyphosate, you can use it near water. Uh, but but it has to be applied by a licensed yeah. person. And um, probably at some point it would be advisable for the town to have somebody in the DPW get licensed. And it's I'm not expensive. Pretty sure Ed addressed that in the last meeting that he was at and he said, uh, the the cost to get someone licensed was prohibitive. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and and we have I can imagine. there's concerns, you know, about um, employee retention too, and the amount of mm -hmm. money that's going to be put into one individual to achieve that, and then you really don't so have any control over it. Once. Or something. Well, maybe it's something we should look into. I remember when 78 Main Street was being renovated, and they had a lot of asbestos siding on the building. And they got an estimate as to what it would cost to remove it, and it was prohibitively expensive. And Lee Carrier went and got licensed as an asbestos removal person, <laughs> and he he took the asbestos siding off the building. So maybe we should look into yeah. what it would maybe take. Maybe the committee. And actually, yeah. I um I had talked with Ed a little bit about the poison ivy, and he is working with um Grace oh. from. The company that did the invasive um, inventory to put together something so that they can maybe have the poison ivy um, exactly. treated. Yeah, the, I guess a request maybe for bid from someone who could. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as I mentioned at an early meeting, I had actually called a company that you know Google locally that uh, will remove poison ivy, and it one person three hundred an hour, three hundred an hour, three hundred an hour. I know chippers will do that kind of thing. Okay. There are other groups too, yeah. locally. Yeah, but I mean, but you know, depending on what that license costs, three hundred an hour, yeah, four well, hours. Yeah, I'd like to know what the yeah. license costs. Right. Well, Doug Saigon is the person at the Department of Agriculture who handles invasive plants for the Department of Agriculture, and he has a lot of experience because he used to be at the Department of Environmental Services doing the same thing. Um, he's he's wonderful to talk to. He's very easy to access. So he's where? He's now the, through the Department of Agriculture. But if you put Doug Saigon, Department of Agriculture, New Hampshire, his information probably will come up. So if this is also kind of on the idea of the sign that you guys did was, if since we know we've got the poison ivy now, do we want to maybe <coughs> be a little proactive and put up some signage? So this was something you could order online. They're only $25 each. This metal sign, it's not metal, but it's a, it's an outdoor sign. And then the, the other picture kind of goes very much <coughs> along with what you're already doing. I mean, maybe the colors are different. It doesn't have to be, but that's mm -hmm. kind of a similar sign to what has been. You but, know. but this is, um, this really, yeah, that really shows in your you. face. Yeah, this one I think is a good example. And there were, uh, there were several other ones online you can just buy. Um, but this one seemed to be, you know. So that might be something we want to think about. How, how um, much area, how many signs would be needed? I, I, I think, I mean, I think, I think when, you, when you get to the grassy area, you know, behind the pavilion, if you even have one yeah. near that big path mm, there, yeah. you know, all right, it's like it turns it, I can remember hiking down there and the person behind, Cinderella crash up and came and said, "You know there's poison ivy in here." Well, all of a sudden I'm on alert. Yeah. Right. And yeah. It was, you know, it doesn't yeah. have to be twelve signs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One and, well, maybe, over, maybe one well, over. Well, put it near uh, a plant. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't help. Yeah, in like with an arrow saying, "Be here. This is what it looks like." Right. Right. I, I mean, yeah. It's, and it does change a little through the year as well. Yeah, so, it gets um, the fall. But the, in that little oak grove, that by the um, patent path, there's a lot of poison ivy in there. Mm -hmm. There's also a tree that um, 
they cleared all of the <coughs> base system around the tree. There's poison ivy there. Mm -hmm. um, there's poison ivy along the edge near where they take the dogs down. Mm -hmm. There's we saw poison ivy there yesterday. Mike and I saw it. I we didn't we actually did not see any poison ivy over by the boat launch on the beach, which I think is a good thing. Um, we That's did probably a, where you got sensitized. Oh, oh, maybe I don't know, but. So I think uh, definitely beyond the pavilion, and then of course where the nature trail is, there's a lot of poison ivy in there. Yeah, so. yeah. you know, so I'm saying it, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't yeah. have to have 22 signs. No, but have it, you know, be like the Burma shapes. Right, <laughs> exactly. Just the awareness. Right. Yeah. Would, would you and your brother uh, oh, be able to right. pull something like that that's together with, with materials? Um, I'll talk to them, but there must be other signs they can just. Okay. Well, this one yeah, was I mean, online, and it was twenty. Yeah. It was about twenty-five dollars. I mean, is it vinyl? You, presumably, it, um, it looks like plastic. It tells us what it is on there. What um, printed on 3M screen printing or outdoor digital inks designed for outdoor traffic and property signs. Last ten up. To, it should last up to ten years outside. It doesn't have to be the thing that's going to be there forever. You know, and I like this, this other sign too, but that the other sign's a lot of work. Yeah, that, well, that would be much more work. Yeah, yeah right. I agree. But it just it was an example. But I mean, I think this one. I, I do think it's very I do too. Yeah, okay. it kind of blends with what yeah. is going we on. We bought a whole roll of posted signs from Amazon mm -hmm. for twenty-five bucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Should we go ahead and get one or two of those? Two things? I, what do you think we need? Get by with the for as a start and see how we go. Two. Okay. Do, and, do the rail trail people have signs, signs like, like that? that? I've I mean, never the, seen one. I've never seen one. The one in Concord, not the oh. people out here. I, see. I don't know. Yeah. Um. I can ask. Yeah, that if they have something they're yeah. using. Um. And, 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 a, and their I, source might be. Uh, my question is, whose responsibility is it? Is it the town? It's a town park. Yeah. Or is it our responsibility? We raise money to build the park. Well, we and also the have money for maintenance. And yeah. We have maintenance. Yeah. And yeah. Those signs and maintenance. So that's a good thing to go after Eva. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. but, yeah, but also, the town is now embarking on some sort of a amelioration. That's for the Japanese, not we. But, but he I also think, mentioned the poison ivy yeah. as part of that yeah. as well. Yeah. So, it should be coordinated. Right. So, yeah. Well, this is just a study. They're not going to do anything. It's just a study. That's mm -hmm. what they've come to do. You know, I mean, but it is the I, first step. I think what, what, if I do. understood what Ed said correctly, he was working with Grace to put together, um, what is it, an RP, 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 whatever, RP. so that yeah. they RP. could have the, the yeah. have it treated. Yeah. 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 So step yeah. one. And a couple of signs, I would get three if you want to, you know, you'll mm -hmm. find a place for a third one. Now do uh, and we may be able to get the standard steel. Uh, yeah, so this one comes with the actually with comes post? with a steel post. Mm -hmm. Which Ship, a three shipping must foot. Be hard. Do, any, do any of the signs say poison ivy stay on trails? I did see one like that, but yeah. I didn't print it. And actually I have five hundred bucks from the master gardeners to use for signage at our park. Oh. I still haven't done anything with that. Oh, if you I could, I could. This could be. I could ask them if this could be the sign, the signs. Is that something you could put in the kiosk and just say, "Go oh, if you well, see this." Yeah. yeah, and that's yeah. great. I think they have to perfect. go to the kiosk to right. read. It was. I was hoping to have something like in that area. So I mean, that's really, just people idea. realize. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a. There's a lot in there. A lot of poison ivy. Yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> um, so it, I like caution rather than warning, but um, but it's critical. Oh, I know. And I don't know, like these signs are pre, kind of pre-made, yeah. so yeah, um, we need a little warning. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, caution. Know, but I might not even see this one, problems. and I would definitely yeah. see that one. Yeah, yeah those are more worry. descriptive. Yeah. Yeah, right. And actually, that's a good point, too. I'm starting to itch. <laughs> but this is this one I liked because it did have the little it, it teach. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what, what, that's what Ken is saying. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So All right, so I'm, I have no problem with that. I, I, and I can send an email to the um, UNH Master Gardeners uh, Alumni Association. Sorry, so, so move uh, to the Patty is delegated to purchase Three, up to three signs, up to $150. Um, 
which would include shipping probably, um, for uh, poison ivy? Oh yeah, check Amazon before you purchase and see if you can get them for free shipping. Mm -hmm. But I would suggest that you check with Elisa about making sure that you run it through the proper accounts. Yeah. Right, that Ed needs to prove it too. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but I, I'll second that motion. But it's funny, we didn't put a motion through on the paint, but we are on the signs. Well, the paint was 50 bucks. Okay. And the signs would be more. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm okay, just so we have a motion how. on the table to uh, for Patty to proceed with purchase of up to three. Uh, poison ivy signs. Yeah. Do I have a second? I'll second the motion. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Good. Um, Enfield Shaker Scenic Byway. Are we done with the uh, landscape? Right. I can't think of uh, The Scenic Byway grants <clears throat> grant is still, um, I guess, if you have any news on that. For him, at last, Ed told me he was still feeling the DOT. And That's the last I knew from just reading mm -hmm. the uh, um, select board agenda that um, Ed had told them he was working with DOT. About yeah, and, and I think also uh, Father William from the Law Select headquarters, they, at one point they weren't too happy about having some of their land uh, taken up. Um, so that's all sort of hanging in the air right now. Okay. I'll ask Ed about it. And, uh, okay. Um, that, that's going to be a long process, but it's uh, yeah. moving ahead. It's, it's, yeah, uh, that's progress what, is what, what uh, the uh, town manager's report has been in a couple <coughs> of meetings. And I want to say one other thing before we move on further, and I'm just thinking about this. We had the annual meeting for the sailing club, and the, a number of people commented on the, how nice the pump was. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. Yeah, Patty deserves a huge amount of credit. Well, a lot of, so many helpers. All right, but it just looks really nice. So. Okay, the only other thing I have to report is that old home days will be <clears throat> July 14th, 15th, and 16th. It's a three-person committee, so it's been a struggle to get it off the ground. Um, we are, we have negotiated to have two bounce houses in Hughes Park, and I'm still desperately trying to find six monitors to serve two hour shifts because we must have two monitors for each for the bounce houses to make sure kids take the shoes off bounce bounce houses, bounce houses. um uh, mla terry i don't know whether <clears throat> you know anything about what they're planning uh martha was going to try and see if she could have a watershed warrior program at the park on all, all i know about the watershed warrior is that it is currently ready to be picked up and conquered oh fantastic <laughs> yeah, that's beyond good. that i don't know anything about the MLS, yeah. uh, plans yeah. i i volunteered teddy because he it made such an impression on him when he did it oh he must have been seven or eight and it, to this day he I have is, no idea what a warrior. Oh, warrior it's a, a wonderful program. I mean, for for anybody, but especially for kids, they make a sort of a, a sand. I would okay. say a sand table yeah. with a, with the lake in the middle, and they pour different substances yeah. in. The lake gets yuckier and yuckier, okay. and it, it's it's yeah. such a visual reminder of of you what you have to do to be careful about your watershed. Mm. And if Teddy goes around the lake and sees somebody with a rolling green lawn, he's like, oh, oh they've been using fertilizer. Yeah. I can okay. tell. And there's something in concrete, like a table or something that is. But, yeah. yeah. It's a I kit. Can... Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a, a kit. Right. Of all the, you know, different things. Cool. Yeah. And that would stay at the park? No, they do it for a day. They did it several they years did. ago um, at yeah. the library. Yeah, Vince does it too, you know, actually. Yeah, they have those, they have it. Um, it's very, very effective. I'm trying to think of who builds okay, it. Okay, just how is that, excuse me, just for a minute, how is that, what do I say about the watershed uh, Watershed warriors? Is that something we're going to be doing at the no, park? No, no, no. I just mentioned it to keep people updated on old home days and what was happening and that's a possible activity at the pavilion on the 15th uh, Hilda Ojibwe's group uh, never too late is going to be playing at the pavilion from 11 to 2 Lori Bliss will be there with her box lunches 
uh, sailing club is going to have <coughs> community sailing that day. So, and then the ice cream social is from one to three. So the watershed warrior, warrior would thing be at be, the park. It's at yeah. the park, not yeah. at the zoos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Doug? And there are other, are we down to other businesses? Yes. Uh, I just want to report on my continuing considerations of donor recognition. Mm -hmm. uh, Meredith and Patty and I met with Dimitri Jericharis at the park. Oh, and, and I, and I there, just happened to be there. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. yeah and, and, and David was there as well. And uh, Dimitri is a renowned uh, metal I would say artist, internationally known uh, sculptor. Uh, and uh, he lives in Canaan and goes by the park regularly. Uh, and he was also a very close friend of, of Paul Mursky's. Mm -hmm. So he'd be very interested in doing something, uh, either a project for donor recognition, which would involve metal sculptures, or a project or, or participate in the Mursky Memorial in some metallurgical way. He's a blacksmith uh, by trade. He's a blacksmith. <laughs> so he thinks in terms of outdoor metal mm -hmm. sculpture. Uh, either or both projects. Uh, but uh, Dimitri is not retired. And, uh, and he's not he, cheap. He does this for a living. <laughs> and he quoted us. Uh, a concessionary uh, estimate of thirty thousand dollars for mm -hmm. the uh, donor memorial and twenty thousand dollar for the Mursky memorial, and uh, there was no hint of anything pro bono. <laughs> so, uh, which of course we've been hoping for. So and, and, we have, and we mentioned that, that Paul did his work pro bono. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the, I think Dimitri's on the back burner yeah. at mm -hmm. the moment. There's still a hope that you know he may come around. Uh, unless, unless, unless we get a sugar daddy, sugar mommy. Well, I'm not going mean. back to Mrs. Burns. <laughs> when I spoke to him later, uh, he did suggest that it's a great fundraising opportunity. Mm -hmm. But that uh, I don't see us raising thirty thousand dollars from donors to recognize donors. That's <laughs> that. yeah. uh, so anyway, that's. I just wanted to let you know that we had this discussion. He's there, but it probably won't come to anything. He did the gates and conquered the beautiful gates. Or he does beautiful, yeah, it's beautiful yeah. work. For, for at least for the foreseeable time being, um, he's beyond our budget. Yeah, yeah. but we can. Admire. We can always dream. Yeah. <laughs> 50 years from now, they'll lose a donor recognition for this committee. And at that point, this would be a problem. But unfortunately, it will have to be as successful as probably. Okay, is that it? It's Liam. Passed along a, a word of advisement from, uh, I don't know if it's from Matt or Rob Taylor, just mm -hmm. uh, reminding everybody to be careful about using reply all on emails because mm -hmm. it's an on unposted uh, unannounced meeting so try to uh, oh, really? reply oh, yeah. if it comes from Meredith just to reply back to time. Meredith and not yeah. to the whole group or yeah. you could uh, send it to Rob or in that way but don't it, it, um, it, it, it's just it, a reply it, it, all creates a, a legal uh, quagmire. The only it, exception is when I send out minutes and an agenda. Exactly. But if it's a reply to that Type yeah. of a, should uh, be dispersion a should be uh, just a reply to you and not a reply yeah. to anybody else. So, so when I replied so about the po poison ivy uh, on the putting it on the agenda, I sent it to everybody. That's yeah. not legal, right? Well, it, apparently yeah. not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, for subcommittee work, uh, my understanding mm. is you and up to three others. Yes. Keeps us under the quorum limits. Okay. Um, yeah. But no more. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Gotta learn. So if we reply all as Wait, some Kate, this is okay. something just to ease your conscience. It's something that's come in relatively recently. It was never an issue before. But I looked it up and it is in the RSA. Yeah. It's pretty darn restricted. Yeah. Emphatic. Yeah. Yeah. 
So <laughs> don't, and it's understandable don't use why. The file right. When you yeah. get a message. Right. So Correct. we can no longer but what, on the subcommittee level we can do it up to four people. But on the committee level, it has to be single. It all has to go through Mary. Just send it, send the reply to you or whoever or sent it. Sent yeah. it to, but you can also do same. Meredith and Liam and <laughs> you uh, do and seven Ed emails for uh, because they're considered staff to yeah. the committee sub. Oh, you can do that. You yeah. can do that. So okay. that you know, many of my emails go to. Mm -hmm. To that RSA 91A. <laughs> so I send the minutes. I send the minutes to Meredith and Ed, and, and that's right. And then yeah, they, they can distribute. They, yeah. <laughs> and oh, and so within a subcommittee, though, we can do reply all because it's under it's four. subcommittee. Right. right. Just make okay. sure that you're only doing it to four. Okay. Got it. Okay. Well, do I have a motion to adjourn? I don't think anyone wants to leave. Oh. No, we're having such a good time. <laughs> no second is necessary. Anyway. <laughs> opposed. Thank you. Patty's <laughs> off to Ireland oh. in what? How many more days? Oh, Patty? two weeks. Oh, you're kidding. You yeah. won't see Capability Brown in Ireland. No, I, awesome. I read about that. There's a. It's sort of interesting. He said.